keeps breaking as I'm trying to I'm trying to rip it in half rather than use the whole key to put the ignition on. Kenny the Rover SD one three and a half litre. All electrics checked. Everything works. So, the time has come for Kenny, the Rover SD1, that's in a bit of a sorry state, to actually leave the yard. Never thought it would happen, but it's going to. For over two years, this car has occupied a space in the yard where it's moved around a couple of times for the matter of convenience. But this time, it's going to go entirely out of the yard and hopefully the work that hasn't got started here will continue there. This is a car that I've rarely featured on the channel. Two videos on it and it's made a couple of cameos in the yard fleet updates because it's here but because it's not my car and I haven't been commissioned to try and fix it I've kind of kept it covered up. It's never been a secret that the car is here has it? See? Kenny leaves the yard. This means something rather fabulous. More space. More space. The space for one more car. Possibly the space for one and a half cars because this is quite a big old thing, isn't it, George? It sure is. God. But it has occurred to me that I'm actually going to miss it. I'm going to miss seeing its greeny bits peeping out from under the cover like a, a little sneaky rover whore that it is. It would be nice to try and get the V8 turned over but yeah. no that can happen another time somewhere else I reckon. So no longer will the yard be haunted with the ghost of Joey Tempest, a man that's still very much alive. <laughs> a man that's still very much alive. The final countdown has begun. Would you like a brief rundown of the story so far? A few years back, this car was advertised on Facebook Marketplace as a barn find. 30 years it had been stood in this particular barn on the top of a hill. So I went up there to see it with a friend and we decided it's probably not worthwhile buying. So George bought it, had it transported down to near where he lives. Anyway, after a while, there became a bit of an issue with it being there and he asked if I could possibly bring it up here. And of course, I had the room at the time. So I did. I went down there in my trusty old transit called Transit Face, brought it up, had a great time getting it off the back of the truck because the wheels were a bit jammed up, etc. With much perseverance, I got the thing off and it stayed just here for about a month or six. A few months later I made a video looking into this car a little bit further to see just how much work was really needed. Turns out quite a bit. I moved the car from one end of the yard all the way down to the other where the caravan now sits. And then for some terribly not very interesting or exciting reason the car came back up here and stayed where the ungrateful Auntie Sophie happens to be right now. After some jiggery and some pokery and some persuasion with a sharp stick, it ended up down there where it stayed. But now its next move is out of the yard altogether. Yeah. <laughs> it's been months, I almost forgot what your face was like. 
<laughs> and I almost forgot I've the grown. face of the SD1. I've grown a lot of hair. <laughs> the day has finally come for George's SD1 to leave the yard. Interesting, eh? That's a car that's been here for quite a while. Mm. So this is the SD1 called Kenny, part three, if you like. Part one was me collecting it. Part two was me having a look around it. And part three is me watching it go away. It's farewell to Kenny, but not goodbye, because apparently it's going to, you know, he's not going to give up on it, basically. I know another car is in need of an awful lot of operations to make it right. But where there's a will, there's a way, I guess. Where there's a massive chunk of money involved, anything can be fixed, and I know there is a massive chunk of money involved. Actually, I know there isn't a massive chunk of money involved, but, well, determination. Shut up, you pleb. The yard, the features of the yard, the containers, obviously the fighting robots, the nails that stick in your tires, and now this big pile of rubble. All of these things, Kenny, the Rover SD1, will no longer see. Not that he was looking at them anyway, because he had his eyes closed all this time. That's the first time I've seen that car unwrapped in about three months. And I must say, I was quite pleased to see, quite pleased to see it. The next job, of course, is to hook up the SD1 to this Renault Laguna diesel and yank it out of its place although apparently it doesn't really want to move oh gosh those are some jump leads aren't they wow those are scary uh, no he's not going to try and turn it over it's just to pump the tire up okay hello dear It's definitely going. See you later, mate. She likes it here. I know. She's always content here. Now it's your turn, Roger Botty. Yes, it is indeed the end of this video. Well, I'm speaking rather quietly because of the time I am finishing editing it. And I could, I suppose, just write out what I want to say, but oh, you know, I just can't bother with it. It's just easy to say it all rather quietly, is what I'm doing. Bye.